Good Friday afternoon, everybody. Friday, February 16th, 2018. Jeremy Crosby here in the newsroom, flying solo today. Kinda. I still got Andrew off, off my left shoulder. He's there. You just can't see him. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, there you go. He's not mic'd up either, so he's just going to be able to yell. But, uh, yep, he's there. Preston has a day off, and you get me, the superstar. I don't have any, like, Prestisms like Preston does. That's what I'm calling him now, Prestisms, because of yesterday's awesome. press wreck. Press wreck. <laughs> he's a guy. He's a guy, let me tell you. Uh, well, we have a very busy show, so I can't delay any further. I need to tell you what is coming up. We've got a lot going on here uh, from the City of Fitchburg Police Department. We'll get you updated on uh, the different uh, incidences that happened overnight. Uh, and then uh, Chief, uh, uh, Chief Chad Brecklin is stopping by uh, today. He'll uh, give us an update on uh, one of the uh, incidents overnight and that involving the uh, school shooting threat. That was not credible, not credible. We'll talk about that with him. Uh, and just the topic of uh, the school shooting uh, surrounding Florida and beyond. Then uh, we continue on with the busy show. We're talking about, uh, uh, there was the tobacco compliance checks from this past year, 2017. Yeah, Dane County, uh, you're doing great as uh, your numbers went down for selling to minors. So uh, congratulations, everybody. So we've got Nina in from Dane County. Uh, public health. She, yeah, she stops by and gives us an update there and then wrapping up the show. So very busy show today. I need to stop talking and start telling you about your headlines. And we start with that school shooting threats, uh, which is not credible. Uh, last night uh, at 6.45, a subject in Juneau County, Wisconsin, received a phone call from an unknown subject. The suspect stated that he was going to shoot up a school. The suspect was identif uh, identified a name of a school. That school does not exist in Juneau County. Uh, at 4.40 a.m., a search warrant was executed at the residence where the phone call originated from, uh, and the suspect was located. That uh, suspect confirmed that it was a prank call. The suspect uh, dialed the wrong number. A search of the residence did not reveal any evidence, uh, no uh, weapons or not. And uh, this resident uh, or uh, individual was calling from here in Fitchburg. So uh, again, we'll give you more updates on that coming up here in our next segment with Chief Chad Brecken of the Fitchburg Police Department. Sticking with the Fitchburg Police Department, they are investigating two separate uh, armed robberies last night. First one happened uh, just after 8.59 p.m. Officers from the Fitchburg Police Department were sent to the Quick Trip gas station at 5280 Williamsburg Way for a report of an armed robbery. Witnesses described the suspect as being a black male wearing dark clothing, black ski mask, gloves, and ski goggles. The suspect was further described as being approximately 5'10", uh, 5'10", tall, weighing anywhere between 250 to 275 pounds. Uh, and was armed with a handgun. There were no injuries reported in this incident. That investigation is ongoing. The second uh, incident of an armed robbery investigation uh, happened at approximately 9.32 p.m. Officers from the Fitchburg Police Department were sent to the Stop and Go gas station on 2932 Fish Hatchery Road for a report of an armed robbery. Witness described the suspect as being a black male wearing dark clothing, a mask, and gloves. The suspect was further described be approximately 5 foot 10 tall, weighing uh, between 250 and 275 pounds and was armed with a handgun. There were no injuries reported at this incident. At this point, it is not believed that the incident is related to the earlier robbery at Williamsburg Way. The investigation is ongoing. There's no further information to report at this time. If we get any more info, we'll pass that along to ya. All right, friends of the Fitchburg Public Libraries, use book sale is on right now. Just opened up here over at the library. Head on over. It goes till 5 p.m. tonight and then reopens back up tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Remember that there's a wide variety of fiction, nonfiction, mystery, children's audiobooks at low, low prices. Proceeds support the Fitchburg Library materials and programming. And this is put on by the friends of the Fitchburg Public Library. Uh, really great. So yeah, goes till 5 today. Bring those bags, fill them up, all for a good cause. I got Lily's book there, her first book from that uh, great, uh, great event. That is your headlines. 
on this uh, nice day. A little bit cooler out today. It sounds like it's a little snow this weekend too. Uh, either way, let's just enjoy it, folks, right? We're almost uh, through wintertime. Woohoo! Coming up next, we open up our digest segment. Again, our chief for Fitchburg Police Department, Chad Brecklin, stopping by talking about uh, last night's school threat and uh, just all around uh, on the subject of school shootings. That's next right here on Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 